Hello and welcome to Libertas News. It's Monday, the 12th of August, and my name is Mark Thomas. American Airlines have announced that from next year, flights from Philadelphia to Dubrovnik will be upgraded to daily flights. After a 28-year break, American Airlines connected Croatia and the US this year with direct flights from Philadelphia to Dubrovnik, originally for, with three flights a week. But due to demand from passengers, the largest American airline later decided to add an additional weekly flight in September, bringing the number of non-stop flights to four a week. However, it was seen that the airline sees further potential and will, from 2020, make these operations daily. The Vice President of Network and Schedule Planning for American Airlines, Vasu Raja, stated in an interview for the popular American travel website thepointsky.com that the carrier will return to Dubrovnik on a daily basis from Philadelphia in 2020, expanding the service from just several weekly flights. For the 10th year in a row, the cycling ultra marathon from Vukovar to Knin and then on to Dubrovnik came to an end at the end of this week, after 35 cyclists arrived in Dubrovnik after seven days of cycling in the intense August heat. The cycling ultramarathon is organized by the Slavonsky Brod Cycle Association and takes place every year in honor of casualties and fatalities of the homeland war. From the 3rd of August to the 9th of August in seven stages, these mainly recreational cyclists rode on average 150 kilometers a day and passed through cities that were badly affected in the homeland war. The aim of the project is to promote cycling as a healthy way of life, to promote Slavonia, Slavonsky Brod, but also Croatia as a cycle tourism destination. The oldest rider in this year's ultramarathon was 74 years old, whilst the youngest was only 14. The Pelishats Bridge is slowly but surely surfacing above the water as the Chinese workers constructing the bridge are working day and night to complete the project on time. Already above the sea surface, one can see the constructions that will carry the future pillars of the bridge. The new Pelishats Bridge is the largest investment in recent Croatian history, worth over 2 billion kuna, and it is on course to be completed in the next two years. In the first year, the Chinese company China Road and Bridge Corporation were able to complete 25% of the bridge work. Nearly 400 Chinese workers are involved in the project, and according to some local reports, they are even working at night in order to finish the bridge ahead of schedule. Already, 148 pilots for the bridge have been completed. Classical music on the island of Lopud tonight as the summer events programme continues in Dubrovnik. Tonight we'll see the split guitar quartet perform in the St Nicholas Church starting at 9 o'clock. It should be a great evening on the island of Lopud. A classical concert tonight in the heart of the old city of Dubrovnik. The Dubrovnik Symphony Orchestra will perform tonight with soloist Katarina Kutna on violin. The music starts at 9.30 tonight in the atmospheric Rector's Palace and it should be an evening to remember. The week will start as last week finished with a mini heat wave rolling over the region. Temperatures tomorrow will reach 34 degrees and the Adriatic Sea is 26.5 degrees. In fact, the forecast for the rest of this week Show sunshine, blue skies and plenty of rising temperatures. Don't forget to stay out of the midday sun and to drink plenty of fluids. One of the most significant monuments of architecture on the Croatian coast, the Rector's Palace was the administrative centre of the Dubrovnik Republic. Its style is basically Gothic with the Renaissance and Baroque reconstructions. In the 15th century, the palace was destroyed twice in gunpowder explosions. Restored by Onofrio de la Cava in the late Gothic style after the first explosion in 1435, the palace got its present day size with a central atrium and front portico. During his one month mandate, the rector of Dubrovnik lived in the palace. Today, the rector's palace houses the cultural historic department of the Dubrovnik Museum, with exhibition halls arranged to display the original setting with a unique furniture and objects for daily use. 
as well as paintings by local and Italian masters. This has been Libertas News from Dubrovnik. My name is Mark Thomas. Thank you for watching. And don't forget you can keep in touch with Libertas News via our YouTube channel. Have a nice day.